Okay, we're going to do another fun thing in our air fryer. Today we're going to be making um, some roasted cauliflower in the air fryer on the rotisserie. And so what I did first was I went ahead and cut away all the green uh, leaves that were on here. I'm going to feed that to my deer. And then we're going to be using this little spigot thing. Oh, it's not a spigot. Um, I don't know what I call it. I call it a... I don't know why I call it a spade either. It's not really a spade, but it's this little tool that I'm going to stab into the cauliflower. And this is a really good uh, vegetable to practice on before you do chicken, because the chicken is a little bit harder to hold on to. So you might want to grab like a towel or paper towel or a uh, regular uh, wash rag or something like that to make it easier to push into. So with this, basically you just push this all the way through the core of the cauliflower just like this and then you just kind of to help you go through this kind of bang it down like this it comes through and you want the fork to hold it just like that and then we're going to put this part right on here as well and we just kind of stab it in there just like this yep i've got to make sure the groove is on there let me get my glasses on Ugh. Thread it all with the glasses so it's square and so you have to make sure that it's lined up right there. Okay, there we go. And it's pushed right in there and then you're going to just kind of screw this in, screw the holders in to make sure that that's really nice and tight, just like that. You know what, I'm going to cut this one off a little bit because it's a little too close to that and I don't really need this part. But whenever I take it off, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. And you know, whenever this is hot, then you're gonna have to deal with it. So I always use my toaster tongs to just unscrew that and that takes out that prong. And you just hold this in with the little micro grips just like this, and then you can unscrew it and just like that. So don't screw it in too tight to where it's too hard, but get these toaster tongs, okay? So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna season it with some oil. And I'm gonna be using our garlic Parmesan oil because like garlic parmesan and this is also a really good thing to put for your dipping uh, breads and stuff if you want to get more of the parmesan on the bottom then you want to hold it upside down and pour it from there but i don't need that right now uh, because i'm going to also put the garlic and herb rub on the cauliflower and we're putting the oil on here because we just kind of want like a fried uh, we want like fried cauliflower, but we don't want it fried. <laughs> so that's basically it right here. We just kind of put a little coating over this. And this is garlic in infused uh, olive oil. So I always feel like I'm kind of healthy whenever I have olive oil, you know, because olives are just a good thing. <laughs> so get your sil silicone basting brush and, ooh, that already smells good. And here is the garlic and herb rub right here. Okay, we just sprinkle this all over, and I'm not gonna go light with it because I really like this flavor. And you know, you could even put a little, make a little cheese sauce if you wanted to. In our blender that we have, we have a really good recipe for cheese sauce, and we're gonna get that all around in here. Okay, and the recipe says to cook it for 16 minutes on the rotisserie setting. And let me move this over here so I can get to this to the air fryer so y'all can see the air fryer we'll bring this right over here and this is all in the cooking guide i'm going to make sure that i'm right on the time and so what i'm going to do is go to its roasted vegetables and it says cauliflower one medium head um and then you can it says 16 minutes so you could cut this up and put it in the rotisserie uh, basket if you want to but I kind of like to do it whole and I think it looks really cool. And then you can just kind of slice it. So here we go. And I'm gonna put this in there for my little deer. Put this up right here. Oh, and I haven't even cleaned up my drip tray. That's from the pita chips that I made out of tortillas. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. And then we'll just put this right in here and start on the left side. And then it goes right there. Put that right there. Wipe my hands off. <laughs> and then we're going to put it on rotisserie and then it's set it automatically it defaults to 400 degrees 45 minutes we don't need it 45 minutes we don't want to have a dehydrated cauliflower 
We're gonna press the start button and that allows us to change the time. So I'm gonna put it at 16 minutes and then start. I'm gonna put the light on and always make sure that it's rotating. So I'm gonna look in here to make sure it's rotating. Oh yeah, here goes the cauliflower, it's going around. So we'll have some cauliflower really soon and the house is gonna smell so good. We've got the hummus, the pita chips, the cauliflower. Next thing I'm gonna do is, oh, and the roasted pecans. Next thing I'm gonna do is make the tomato basil soup. Yay!